Over the last few years even, I should say, albinos in Tanzania have been murdered by gangs who hack off their body parts for cash. Now a new film takes us behind the headlines and into the heart of this lucrative and sinister trade. White Shadow tells the story of an albino boy called Elias who goes on the run after witnessing his father's murder. And it premieres in London this week. Let's take a look at the trailer. There you go, it looks great, doesn't it? Well, I'm joined now in the studio by the director, Noaz Deshe, uh, lead actor, Hamisi Bazili, and James Gayo, who plays his uncle in the film. Welcome to you all. Um, Thank you for having us. Noaz, I want to start with you first, really. How long did it take to make the film and, and how much work was involved in it? Well, we were shooting for nine months. Uh, it started from uh, a teaching workshop in the Goethe Institute and Alliance Francaise. We were, a friend of mine and myself were invited to teach and um, in Dar es Salaam and we thought, uh, well, it could be an interesting platform to stay and continue if we do our job well in the workshop. Sure. So I researched where am I going and stumbled into a BBC report by a reporter called Vikin Tema, mm -hmm. who caught a witch doctor on a hidden camera trying to sell her body parts of albino. Right. And this is what broke out the story to the world and took me almost by possession. And I had to find out everything about it. And uh, after a f couple of days of reading, I called my friend in the morning and said, we go and teach, and whoever's good in the course, we keep with us because we're staying. We're making this film about this subject. It's going to be about this boy. The name manifested in a dream already. Sure. And then we went after starting a, a, a long process of research. Sure. Uh, well, um, then... Uh, through a long process of casting, we found uh, James and Hamisi. Sure. Yeah. So James and Hamisi, then, how, how much do you know about the real context of what's happening in Tanzania? What, what's the sort of uh, the connection for you in this film? No, I mean, we come from Dar es Salaam, which is a big city, but, uh, you know, Tanzania is one of the country with, uh, you know, <coughs> leading, um, among African countries with leading, you know, freedom of uh, uh, press. So. I mean, everything is on the open. I mean, uh, radios, newspapers, mm -hmm. uh, on a daily basis updating us what is happening in the rural areas, yeah. And this story uh, across the news agenda, how important do you think it is, Samisi, for example? <laughs> Okay. He thinks that the story is very important to him because, uh, number one, it's about a, a, albinos. Oh, albinos are victim, and he is an albino, and uh, four member, uh, uh, um, four members of his family are also albinos. So he feels like he's he's so much attached to the story. Yeah, his sure. mother, his fa his father was his sister. Uh, it's his uh, uncle. very close to yeah. uh, to mm. his emotional baggage. And how did it feel for you to act in this film then? Was it sort of a catharsis for you? I was very happy to work with my family because I was able to get the family 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 to get the he, he feels like it's, it, it's, it's, it, he felt very, very good because it, uh, even before the film, he had um, the dreams of sort of uh, speaking for, for, for albinos. So when the film came, he thought that was the, you know, the best opportunity for him to mm -hmm. fulfill his dreams. So when we look at the, the context and a wider issue mm -hmm. um, to do with the story at the heart mm -hmm. of, of the film, do you think that the government in Tanzania or other authorities like the UN maybe could do more to, to stop what's happening? Well, they are. Uh, they're doing a lot. Mm -hmm. I think it's just a matter of resources and, uh, and I mean it, it's generally a problem of education uh, mm -hmm. but that has many facets to it. I mean, you say education in, in such a way it means many many different things and many different approaches in very different areas but uh, I think they are they have taken a very strong approach in the past few 
mm -hmm. months because uh, there have been some very severe cases. Mm -hmm. um, but I think they need help. They need help from their own population as well. Do you hope that the, the film can essentially raise awareness of this issue uh, and, and maybe help in the fight against what's happening in the country? I think you, when, you approach, uh, when you approach something like this, you have, you have that kind of hope hidden. We focused, uh, it's a fiction film, and we focused on the character's experience as much as possible to put you in the idea of what it feels to be hunted, what it feels to be persecuted in that sense, and, and having that around your shoulders when you are in that, on that, in that age, coming to a new city, sure. through that process of being lost. Mm -hmm. And as much as possible on the character, uh, what you see he does, what he sees you do, what he doesn't you don't, his confusion is yours. Mm -hmm. um, it's not our place to be the mouthpiece of the whole story of what's going on, but it is our ability to try to connect you emotionally to how it would feel to be in that condition. Sure. Is there hope that's, that's shi that shines through at the end of the film as well? S say what? Is there hope that, that does shine through in the film? Yeah, for sure, for sure. I mean, for me, I, I feel, although from what um, Noah has just said, um, to me, I, I think, yes, that the film um, eventually plays is, its role. I mean, every, every entity has to sort of bring their contribution. And the, the most, to, to me, if you ask me what role will the, the, the film play, place is to cause people to talk about it because we tend to shy away from you know talking um, these sensitive issues and uh, mm -hmm. this film I hope it will trigger some some big debate uh, now we are here it was mm -hmm. only a problem in, in, in Tanzania and now we are here in England and and the rest of Europe now are talking about mm -hmm. so eventually together I hope that we can we can we can find a solution and let's hope we can because this is an important issue when is the film out it's out now, it's in the mm -hmm. cinemas, the screening's in Sunday, and it's out all over Europe. Great stuff. Uh, Noah Samisi and James, thank you very much indeed for your time today. Much appreciated for you for coming in. Thank you.